Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be reviewing the New Balance Teddy Santis Main USA 990V3 in the Navy and Spring Tide colorway. So this is my 13th pickup from Teddy Santis Season 1, aka the Teddy 16, so I'm really close to closing out the collection. Uh, this colorway was also featured on a 990V2, which I should also be getting in soon, so stay tuned for that review. So as usual, I'll be doing a full overview of the shoe, as well as an on-feet look, as well as my thoughts and opinions on sizing, comfort, quality, and design of the shoe. Starting with the box, the 990V3 in the navy and spring tide colorway comes in the standard cream and red Teddy Santis box with New Balance Main USA branding around the box. Starting with the toe box of the shoe, the mugguard of the shoe is made out of navy suede, the middle of the toe box is made out of blue mesh, and surrounding the toe box are panels of gray suede, and at the very bottom of the toe box is a very small panel of dark gray 3M reflective material. Moving towards the middle of the shoe, you get more panels of that blue mesh, more panels of the navy suede, the lace aisles of the shoes are also made out of that navy suede, and in the very middle of the shoe, you get the New Balance N logo in a gray 3M reflective material with a black and white border. The very top lace outlets of the shoes are made out of a dark gray plastic, and moving towards the ankle area of the shoe, you get more panels of navy suede, more panels of gray suede, more panels of blue mesh, as well as 990 branding printed on in silver near the back ankle area. And moving towards the very back of the shoe, at the top you get a small panel of dark gray perforated 3M reflective material with Main USA branding printed on in black. In the middle you get a small panel of navy perforated nubuck with the New Balance NB badge in red and white. And you get another big panel of navy suede. And at the very bottom you get a black TPU heel clip with New Balance branding in gray. And the medial side of the shoe is the same as the lateral side of the shoe in terms of color and materials. The shoes come with a set of flat cream laces and a set of flat navy laces. I opted to go with the cream. Uh, the laces weave on top of a blue mesh tongue and at the very top of the tongue you get the standard 990v3 tongue topper with a gray polyester material in that signature rhombus criss cut uh, pattern and you also get the New Balance USA branding in red and silver plastics. The back of the tongue and the ankle area of the shoe are made out of white mesh. The shoes come with a standard standard foam insole with a blue textile upper. You also get New Balance Boston Athletics branding printed on in black. The midsole of the shoe consists of white and off-white foams, and the main technology utilized in the 990v3 is New Balance's signature end cap technology, and end cap consists of a stiff polyurethane heel cradle as well as a soft EVA foam core, which gives the user an excellent combination of firmness and softness. And finally, moving on towards the outsole of the shoe, you get the standard 990v3 outsole with black and gray rubbers as well as New Balance branding in blue. So now that the overview of the shoes out of the way, I'll lace these up and I'll show you how they look on feet. So as for sizing, the 990v3 in the navy and spring tide colorway fits like every other 990v3 as well as all of the shoes from Teddy Season 1, so you can go down half a size. I am a true size 9.5 and, and I got these in a size 9 and they fit me well. But as I always say, if you have the chance to try these on before you buy them, I definitely recommend you do that since everyone's feet are different. As for comfort, the 990v3 is a very comfortable shoe. For my 3 factor comfort rating, I give the 990v3 a 6 out of 10 for cushioning and softness, a 6 out of 10 for stability and firmness, and an 8 out of 10 for midsole shape and support. The V3 has an excellent combination of firmness and softness. It's not too overly soft or squishy on your feet, nor is it too overly firm or stiff on your feet, and it also has a very supportive midsole shape. As for quality, the navy and spring tide colorway is on par with the other Teddy 16 colorways. Uh, it's just that this colorway in particular doesn't use any special materials. Uh, almost all of the shoes 
is just mesh and suede, which is pretty standard for Made in USA models. Uh, but uh, that said, the materials are excellent in hand. They feel soft to the touch. Uh, the meshes also feel solid. And as for a craftsmanship perspective, I had absolutely no problems on my end whatsoever. Overall, I'm really satisfied with this colorway. Uh, usually a navy colorway would have been pretty boring in my opinion, but I really like the tonal difference with the navy and I guess the spring tide blue in the mesh. I think it's a nice contrast. It's definitely a solid colorway for Teddy Season 1. So that's gonna do it for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my socials. Thank you to all my Patreon backers. Check out the Intelligent site for more New Balance content and guides, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.